Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. My name is John Noggle, and for three years I had the privilege of serving as the president of the Center for a New American Security, which was founded more than five years ago to promote strong, principled, pragmatic defense and national security policies for the United States of America. A critical component of that mission is inspiring and educating the next generation of national security leaders. And I am deeply honored to be with you today, to be back with you today, to pay tribute to some of the very best thinkers and leaders of that generation in the name of First Lieutenant Andrew Basevich, Jr. Just weeks before the first CNAS annual conference in May of 2007, an outstanding young scholar, officer, and leader, First Lieutenant Andrew Basevich, Jr., was killed in action in Saladin Province, Iraq. Lieutenant Basevich was the son of Professor Andrew Basevich, a retired Army officer who now teaches at Boston University and who serves as a treasured advisor to CNAS. The Basevich family graciously allowed CNAS to establish a fellowship in Andrew's honor. And for the last five years, the Basevich Fellowship has been awarded every year to that member of the CNAS family whose standard of performance, determination to excel, and dedication to public service best honor the legacy of Lieutenant Basevich. We're particularly pleased to have Professor Basevich here with us this year representing his family, along with three previous Basevich fellows, to recognize this year's recipient of this distinct honor. CNAS's first Basevich fellow was Sean Brimley, who is with us today. Sean, a one-time Canadian infantry officer, now serves on the National Security Council as the Director of Strategic Planning after previous service to the Undersecretary of Defense for Policy and our co-founder, Michelle Flournoy. The second Basevich Fellow was Narav Patel. After years of service as Senior Advisor to the Assistant Secretary of State for East Asia, Kurt Campbell, whom you heard from this morning, Narav is now Deputy Assistant Secretary of State for Strategy and Multilateral Affairs and his duties preclude him from being here today. The third Basevich Fellow, Christine Parthamore, is here with us. Christine now works on countering weapons of mass destruction in the Office of the Undersecretary of Defense for Acquisition Technology and Logistics, but we particularly remember her service at CNAS in helping to establish our natural security program, which focused on the intersection of natural resources and natural security. The fourth, fourth Basevich Fellow was Brian Burton. Brian first served as a CNAS intern before becoming my long-suffering research assistant and research associate. Brian is now the military legislative assistant to the nation's distinguished senator from Connecticut, Senator Joe Lieberman, and we're pleased that Brian has come down from the Hill to be with us. Our fifth Basevich Fellow, selected last year, was Travis Sharp. Travis is currently in Afghanistan on a research trip. He will attend Princeton University and pursue his doctoral studies this fall. Travis deferred his doctoral studies at Princeton in order to take up the Basevich Fellowship over the course of the last year. He has made enormous contributions to the work of CNAS as a Basevich Fellow, particularly working on the Responsible Defense Project, which you'll hear uh, two of his co-authors, Nora Bensahel and Dave Barno, talk about in just a few minutes and we hope to continue to work with Travis as he pursues his doctoral studies. And the Basevich Fellow for this year is Will Rogers. Will was one of the first people Nate and I hired when we assumed responsibility for CNAS from Kurt and Michelle. He came to CNAS to work with Christine on the natural security portfolio back in 2009. We hired him away from the environmental change and security program at the Woodrow Wilson Center just across the street Will had previously served as a legislative intern in the office of U.S. Senator Bar Boxer, Barbara Boxer. Will studied political science and international relations at the University of California, San Diego, and studied abroad at the University of Auckland in New Zealand, where he was a recipient of the 2007 Political Studies Senior Prize Fellowship. At CNAS, Will has authored or co-authored a very broad range of publications on energy, climate change, environmental cooperation in Asia, and internet freedom. His recent paper, titled Security at Sea, 
the case for ratifying the Law of the Sea Convention is playing a very important role in the growing drive to finally get that critical contribution to American security ratified. I'm particularly impressed by Will's use of new media to reach a broader national security audience. He's the editor of the CNAS Natural Security blog and a contributor to the National Journal's Ed Energy Experts blog. And he regularly tweets about issues at the intersection of national security, natural resources, and the environment. Since his arrival at CNAS, Will has contributed across the spectrum of our intellectual work, but he has also played a key role in working to educate and inspire the next generation of national security leaders, laboring diligently to improve and sustain the Professor Joseph Nye Internship Program at CNAS, which recruits and cares for the interns who do so much of the hard work that makes not just CNAS, but all of Washington run. So as important as Will's intellect and his writing skills have been to the center, we also honor today his extraordinary leadership abilities and his selfless service in mentoring those who will work to preserve the nation's security for many years to come. I personally now have the honor of teaching some particularly talented and dedicated members of that next generation at the United States Naval Academy. They have chosen to serve our country in a time of war knowing that they may be called upon to make the ultimate sacrifice. They follow the path walked by Lieutenant Andrew Basevich Jr. and thousands of his contemporaries, who over a decade and more of war have fought at our nation's behest in the cause of our security and our freedom. Ladies and gentlemen, as our nation remains at war today, I would ask you to please stand in recognition of those who now serve and in memory of all of America's sons and daughters who have fallen under the American flag. In enduring recognition of Lieutenant Andrew Basevich's exceptional commitment to the service of our nation, it is my honor to introduce Will Rogers, the first Lieutenant Andrew Basevich Jr. Fellow for 2012. Please be seated. Uh, World Bank President Bob Zellick will be joining us shortly. <laughs> 